Hello everyone, Yuki from Anthropology, and today we're going to take a look at an elevator bracket and lightweight it using some topology optimization. Let's get into it. So we imported our aircraft elevator bracket here, and the first thing we'll do is set this part up for topology optimization. We can start by meshing our part from surface to volume, and then specify our material. So we're using one of our predefined materials, titanium, but you can also add in your own isotropic or orthotropic material as well. Next, we'll add our load cases. We can define our boundaries and set some bearing forces and displacement restraints in those areas. Now, because this elevator bracket will be going under specific loads, we can add a couple more load cases. So as the topology optimization runs, it will account for those loads and remove material efficiently while still maintaining its structural integrity. Now lastly, we can specify some constraints. Since we want to reduce the amount of material used to create this part, we'll use this block called a volume fraction constraint block, which allows us to define how much material we want to keep based on a percentage when running the top op. Now with all the components ready and set up, we can then run our topology optimization and eventually get our result. Now one of the first things you'll notice is that once your top off is done that the raw result is very rough and bumpy but in end top we can easily smoothen those faces out using this block called smoothen body which smoothens our surface in a very short amount of time now another thing you'll notice is that we did lose a couple of critical features such as our holes during our top off and our smoothening operations but we can attach it right back by using a couple of boolean operations now with our part cleaned up and finished we can then mesh and export to manufacture now, why would you want to do this? Topology optimization allows you to reduce the weight without sacrificing structural integrity, helps you reduce design iterations, and also shorten manufacturing and testing times. You can apply this to other parts, components, brackets that can be lightweighted to further lightweight the whole assembly. I hope you got a good understanding of how you can use topology optimization to lightweight a part like an elevator bracket. Thank you, and I hope you learned something new today. If you want to download this on top file, go to anthropology.com under resources, videos, find this on top live, and at the bottom, just fill out this form and download the end top file. If you want to learn more about anthropology, contact us by filling out a form to speak with an end top expert. Lastly, check out our support page at support.anthropology.com and type your questions here if you have any other questions. Thank you.